Take three. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Eurelis and welcome to my beauty space. Today's video is a pop of color. I asked you guys on my IG stories what look you want to see next and the poll was pretty close. Um, I did the natural glam ready and now I'm here with the pop of color. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, I always leave my info below. So check it out. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're not subscribed already, then what are you waiting for? I mean, come on, it's free 99. So what do you have to lose? I hope you guys enjoy the video as always. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I almost forgot to say, don't forget to glow. Bye. To start off today's look, I am going in with the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply that all over my crease for my eyeshadow base. Now I'm going in with the shade Early Bird and I'm going to place that basically where I placed the Chickadee shade. It's just to intensify the crease. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite shades. This is Morocco, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to place that more concentrated on the outer V area and slowly building it into my crease. The key to any makeup look is that you want to start off with a light shade and then slowly intensify your smoky eye. Picking up my Morphe 502 brush, I'm just going to blend out my crease. Now I'm picking up Inglas eyeshadow in the number 335 and I'm going to intensify the whole look and this is basically going to be the darkest shade we're going in with today. Now it's time to carve out the lid so that we have a nice clean base for our pigment. I am using the Tarte Concealer with an angle brush and I'm going to slowly carve out the lid to clean up the crease. Now I'm going in with this NYX Glitter Glue and I'm going to place that right on top of the concealer. And what it's going to do is it's going to be a perfect base for the pigment that we're going to use right now. And this is in the shade Vegas Lights and this is also from Makeup Geek. I love this pigment so much. It's just like an intense, coppery, golden, ugh, it's just perfection. And it's so pigmented, like a little bit goes a long way. Picking up this Morphe 507 brush, I'm just going to place that into my crease to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I am going for a wing today, so I am using my Maybelline Master Eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner. It's so black and pigmented, and I'm going to just make my little cat eye effects. It is so hard to do this on camera. It's kind of ridiculous, but I did it. Boom, we got the wing. Now I'm going in with Coco Lashes in the style Honey Bee. Always make sure when you're placing your lashes, you always come from above. I find that, that it helps a lot, especially when the lashes are much thicker. And I'm using my tweezers to squeeze my lashes together and of course, always be careful with this. Ah! <laughs> it's time for concealer. I am mixing my two favorite concealers at the moment. This is ColourPop's No Filter Concealer, and I'm going to mix it with L'Oreal's Pro Glow. I don't know what happened to my lighting here. I was using natural lighting with my umbrella lighting, and I don't know. I'm so sorry. But your girl is working on an upgrade very soon. Please be patient, and I really appreciate it. To lock everything in place, I'm going in with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm just going to place that under my eyes, on my nose, and my smile line. Don't ever leave your house without the glow and without the contour. So I'm going in with Anastasia's contour kit and I'm going in with this Morphe 529 brush. I really like this brush for contouring. I find it so easy and it blends like a dream. Dab, dab, dab. I'm actually not a fan of having such a defined nose contour, but I kind of wanted to do it today. So 
So I'm going in with this Equal Tools brush and I found it so easy to do because this fl flush, <laughs> this brush was so fluffy. Time to glow. I'm going in with this glow kit from Anastasia. Now, I was so upset when they discontinued this one. This is like one of the first ones that they came out with, like, like what, two, three years ago. And this is that glow kit. And they discontinued, I don't know why, I felt like this was the best one. RIP to that glow. I wanted to intensify my glow, so I'm going in with the Amrezy highlighter, also from Anastasia. I wonder how this highlighter is gonna look when I have like a crazy tan in the summer. For blush, I'm going to use Lit Orange from the Contour Kit. I'm going to apply that on my cheeks using my Real Techniques brush. Don't ever forget to blend. Pop of color time. Now I'm going in with this NYX eyeliner. This is in the shade Emerald and I'm going to apply that in my waterline and then I'm going to slowly put it right underneath it. I love the way copper and green go together. I think they complement each other so much. I also like copper with blue, but I wanted to match my outfits. To set that eyeliner, I'm just gonna use this green shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Using an angle brush, I'm going to slowly stamp it on so that I don't have any fallout onto my concealer. I wanted to add some shimmer to this look, so I'm taking the shade Size of Olive from Colored Rain, and I'm using the same angle brush, and I'm just basically going to blend it all together with the matte shade. Now I'm using my pencil brush from Inglot, and I'm going to just blend it all together. Make sure you take your time with this, and I always recommend for you to look up whenever you're working on your lower lash line. Now I'm popping on some mascara because I just feel like it just completes every single eye look. If you have watery eyes like I do, I always recommend a waterproof mascara. This is a throwback product for me. This is Max Gold Deposit, and I'm going to add that into my tear duct because I want like a pop of like a little bit of gold. Now I'm lining my lips using Max Strip Down, and I really like this lip liner even though you can't really see it on me. I like the way it blends with all my nudes. Nothing new here, I'm taking my favorite nude. This is Dose of Colors with the da the Daisy. <laughs> the Desi and Katie collab. I can't speak today guys, I'm so sorry. But I'm taking the shade More Creamer Please and then I'm going to blend it all together with my lip liner. Don't mind me, I'm just singing along to one of my favorite freestyle songs. Let me be the one. Now I'm popping some highlight on my lips to make them look bigger and juicy. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy the video and same as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.